That sounds bad. <laughs> this one sounds good too. And this is the way we this wrapped is, them before. So this is gonna be the intro. It's just like you shaking boxes. <laughs> I should dance like I'm shaking the rock. We got a shipment of Dispay paint in uh, what last week, and. Uh, our first shipment of Dispay paint, we had some bad luck with damage. Some of the packing was not ideal. The way they're packing them is, was less than perfect and resulted in some, some broken bottles, which got paint on other bottles, destroyed a bunch of inventory so that we couldn't sell, and it just it was a headache. Flash forward to the second shipment, which we just got, which I think by the time you see this has probably already been up on the website or is on the website currently. They improved for most of their shipment, and then one of the boxes was even worse than the one before. Supposedly it came from a uh, uh, their factory or something, sent it directly, I think, was kind of the story. And they apparently didn't know how to pack them correctly or something, and so it was a mess. So what I plan on doing today is taking some of the dirty paint bottles we have, the jars and packing them a few different ways to try to figure out what we need to do to make sure that they are going to make it to our customers safely in one piece without breaking. The last shipment we ended up individually bubble wrapping every single jar of paint, which as far as I know resulted in zero damage on the other end, which is great. It's also really time consuming, so we're trying to find that middle ground. So basically I plan on testing probably three or four different scenarios. I'll test take maybe do probably do groups of six because the boxes are six we'll bubble wrap a box of a set of six paints we will put a set of six paints into one of their plastic boxes which is how they were shipped last time which didn't work for the most part we had some damage some got through okay we will do the same thing uh, with with another set of six in one of those plastic boxes and we will put it in a styrofoam uh, foam container which is how they shipped them this time which seemed to help a lot and then finally the fourth scenario is that same same thing styrofoam the plastic box and then some cardboard inserts that will hopefully or maybe cardboard inserts maybe some paper something to keep the jars of paint from potentially colliding with each other and we're gonna pack some boxes up and then we're gonna abuse them and see what happens and figure out what works the mess we got this is kind of what was left over from the ones that weren't packed very well. So I'm going to use some of these. And so basically these are packed something like this. The nice green color. These do break and be everywhere. And so this is how they how they came packed before. It was in a box like that. So we got Got one of those. So I'm gonna make a couple of these. You guys can still talk, it's okay. <laughs> Probably not. I mean, the paints are good from what I hear. Say what you will about this day's bottling stuff. The flavor is fantastic. Oh Ryan, you're gonna literally convince yourself to drink paint. I'm um, that's, that's your friend and your coworker and I advise you to stop making these jokes. What if I told you they weren't jokes anymore? And I really need help. You know what I said about being it's okay talking? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I said about it's okay being talking? I don't know why it's not fun. Maybe my it is a So you can kind of tell. I don't think Hopefully the mic picks that up, that shaking, that's the jars bouncing against each other. So the hope is, if we add some, some paper in here, it might help minimize that. I'm just worried about a very rapid shift in the box causing, causing some problems there. This will be a very quick and dirty test. If we do this in a more neat way. So this is the foam I was talking about that was their improvement. So that keeps some of the pressure off the outside of the box. And then <clears throat> cut uh, like a piece of this to secure to the other side. 
and let's uh, grab four more of these. Gonna like reach in here and like sever a finger or something with a little broken glass. Forget nitrile gloves. I should get you guys some like gloves you can't cut or whatever, whatever those are called. The chain mill gloves. Yeah. Be all sorts of different colors. We deal with all the different paints. Let's just hope we don't need to do that anymore. Okay, so I got one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're going to go over here. We're going to sneak through. So we basically should do like a drop test. We can drop these from, I don't know, shoulder height is probably pretty good. Probably like worst case, it's on the top shelf somewhere on the truck and falls off maybe. Then we can do some crush tests, like stand on them and see if that works. And uh, yeah, we'll go with that. So just drop a bunch of these. Somebody's cringing. This is very scientific with the uh, flip. This box is actually pretty robust. Oh, you're right. I should get a lab coat. Oh, one there on the corner. Kind of the corner. Sound good. Yeah, that one sounds crunchy. That's number two, so that's the how they shipped them the first time. Number four, I hear a little bit of sliding, but no, no sounds. That one's probably good. This is number three. This is the same, same as that without the paper. Doesn't sound as crunchy, right? This sounds bad. <laughs> This one sounds good too. And this is the way we this wrapped is, them before. So this is going to be the intro. It's just like you shaking boxes. <laughs> I should dance like I'm shaking maracas. So I'm going to cut this one open because I think it's busted already. That's going to be the bonus round. Is when I smash these things in the ground, like in a way that no one should ever possibly do anything to a box. It's basically like have you, have you guys seen the? There's like a type of video where people compare shipping from. U USPS, FedEx, UPS, and Amazon. And oh, like, yeah. You know, like the the Amazon guy goes at the door. He like sweeps off your mat. He puts oh, it down. Yeah. He like pats it on the head and takes a picture and like carefully walks away. And then like the FedEx guy like kicks it across the room or something. And somebody like drives by and throws it out the window. Yeah, the UPS one's like kicks your door down, throws it into your house. Yeah, yeah. I, I forget which one's which, but we just do like that. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's These are all technically still okay. Oh, nope, something's there's a piece of glass in there. And the plastic broke. One of these jars must be this one. No, could have been. Oh, here we go. So the jar still survived, but it lost something in the process. But I guess I'll seal this one back up and let it keep going, though. I think but the other ones. 
there's no indication of any problems, so we'll keep going. So I guess next to be crush tests. Oh. This is unrealistic. Totally unrealistic, right? Yeah. <laughs> I guess some of our boxes end up in customers looking like this. I mean, it kind of makes sense that this is a, the one with just the bubble wrap. There's nothing structural in there, so it's going to crush a lot. Still nothing, still nothing. Still sounds bad, but it sounded bad to begin with. <laughs> so I don't know. I guess we can turn them all on their side and do it again. Smart. Some steel toe boots in here to kick them. Still doesn't sound good. But I don't want to open it again to check. So let's, like, us really abuse these then, and then we'll open them all up and see what happens. This is not what I expected. We'll do three for each box. This is me getting out of my frustrations. <laughs> for all the stress this morning. because that's going to be the one that's going to be dangerous. <laughs> you see that balance? The balance was impressive. <laughs> like I should get out of the way. paint on the floor right here. I wonder which one that is. Something's bleeding. I like, almost don't want to do this one. I think it's going to be a mess. But I wonder where that paint came from. Oh, here it is. Number three leaked. Now, that was the one that was supposed to be second to best. Oh! Can uh, someone grab me some cardboard, maybe? Yeah, and, and maybe some paper towels. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one's bleeding. Yeah. How do I clean that up real quick? <laughs> Brief intermission for, for cleaning. And then we got the bad one. This one's just gonna go, right? Like, there's almost no point in doing it other than for fun. For fun. <laughs> Can I borrow that real quick? Yeah. Yeah, we'll just put it down as a thing. We'll make a mess of that instead of the floor. That might have been a good idea to begin with here. <laughs> I'm afraid to throw this now. That one, I, oh, I felt that one. Let's wait for this one to come bleeding out of its, its eyes over here. So let's open these up. Grab a knife. We'll, we'll start with the, thank you. This one's gotta go viral, right? <laughs> I mean, I would hope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gotta. I gotta make sure I figure that part out. Okay guys, just so you know. Oh yeah. So we might have gone too far because the uh, first one is smashed too. Oh, this man. is the bubble wrap one. Something's definitely leaking in there. Let's 
a bit of that for now. So that was number one. Number two. Yeah, there we go. Number two is leaking now. So display a ransom note. Oh yeah. And that's kind of like what our damaged ones look like when we got a box. The inside of the box was just covered in paint. And I imagine they were more thoroughly covered because they had time to shake around. Number three. So this is with the foam on the outside, which should, in theory, have made things better. But, oh, right, yeah. Oh. I'll wash my hands, that one's nasty too. This one looks really good though. So I think I've proven something here, maybe. Hopefully. Oh no, never mind. Yeah, we just went too far. <laughs> so that one's bad too. So short version is, if you spike them, you got problems. But the first drops were fine for all but the number two is the worst on the drops. Crush didn't seem to matter for any of them. They seem to be fine. It takes spiking them to make a mess, apparently. So now I want to clean this stuff up. <laughs> Contemplate my life choices up to this point. <laughs> I think I went too far uh, by a long shot, but I think the test was pretty conclusive. I wish I had opened the boxes before I had spiked them. Not that I would have ever been able to close them again, so I guess there's a, there's a trade-off there. But I think, pretty obvious just from shaking them, you couldn't hear anything inside, especially the one that had the paper in it, and it didn't, even the other one didn't sound like there's anything broken inside until we started spiking them, so that's pretty good. So kind of in summary, it looks like their new methods work way better than their old methods. And uh, that's, uh, that's a good thing because it'll make shipping stuff a lot easier. We don't have to wrap them individually with bubble wrap to make sure they go out safely. So I'm looking forward to uh, this restock and all this stuff. So great job, Dispay. I'm, I'm glad you guys managed to figure out uh, an improvement that, uh, that worked. So yeah, I think that's, that's all I got.